Tommaso Ciampa is set for action here tonight. Ciampa is a methodical competitor. He really knows how to make sure that every move hurts as much as possible. He's so precise in his movement and offense. Definitely not the kind of superstar you want to underestimate. And then we've got a born and bred brawler, Sheamus. Whenever a fight breaks out in WWE, there's a good chance Sheamus is at the middle of it, handing out punishment to anyone who gets in his way. It's not pretty, but Sheamus is very good at what he does. And what he does is get brutal. Sheamus shows no regard for his opponent's well-being. He holds nothing back. He's always out to inflict pain with the most vicious attack he can think of. Big boots! Oh, this is gonna hurt. Just a barrage of elbow drops into the chest. Unleashing a barrage on their opponent. Big forearm. Power slot. He goes for the cover. And a good strong kick out there. He needs to deal more damage before trying that again. And a Oof. stop to the gut, too. Win out how dominant Sheamus is, Corey. So, what needs to be done tonight to put the Celtic Warrior away? You need to take out his legs, which power the devastating brogue kick. If you don't neutralize this, it can be lights out in a hurry. It wasn't the higher distance that caused the damage, but they certainly contributed. The Celtic Warrior loves to fight. Fantastic offense from Sheamus. Knee right to the midsection. Side headlock applied. Oh, a good Watch. measure. Oh, my God, a DDT! Spiked him. Chamber. Okay, consider that a harsh lesson. Return fire on the Celtic Warrior. He's struggling a bit here. Sheamus came looking for a fight, and this is clearly just what happens when he finds a fight. Just endless knee strikes. Chopper with a well-timed shot. Oh, kick right to the gut. What on earth is coming next? And that definitely made solid impact. He takes control. Champa kick to the abdomen. Oh, what a psycho cut. You hear the talk in the locker room, the anything you can do, I can do better mentality that's been building between these competitors. I'm no Total underhook applied. Up and down. Champa might just have it. Two. Man, what a match. And what a victory. This superstar fired up in the face of victory. And are we going to get some good sportsmanship on the back end here? Oh, no way. Way. Low blow. That's just sad to watch. There is too much bad blood between these two. I don't think it'll ever go away. Time to party with the Prophets.
The following is a tag team match set for one fall. On the way to the ring, at a combined weight of 492 pounds, the World Tag Team Champions, Montez Ford and Angelo Dawkins, the Street Profits. Byron, with the Street Profits out here, I can't even get mad at you. <laughs> All right, Michael, high five. All right, maybe not. team division. Yeah, two absolute wrecking balls who are thirsty for demolition. It's a terrifying blend of size, speed, power, and agility. When you see these two behemoths walking towards you, a lot of people would argue the match is already over before the bell rings. smoke because someone's about to get it from the Street Profits. Montez Ford and Angelo Dawkins, these guys have a resting confidence level on 100, and it's easy to see why. It's been a long time since we've had a team with the pure talent and charisma that these guys do. They say some people were made for this industry, and clearly Ford and Dawkins are in that category. And across the ring are the formidable duo of Eric and Ivar. The Viking Raiders. Berserker energy with the athleticism of a triathlete. There are few teams who can do what the Viking Raiders do. Not to mention, they can crush a horn of ale. Like, literally, I've seen them crush it. There he goes, right into the corner. Bulldog! Tag! Delivers the knee! Wasting up their opponent. Wow, what a spinebuster. The damage he's taken is starting to pile up. Able to parry that one. DDT plants them. He's got him down. Is this it? He's able to kick out before two. Not getting a two count at this point has to be frustrating. Oh, no, 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 no. A big splash. down with a big time splash. Trying their opponent's arm up. Carefully measured double stop. Standing shooting star press and Cole gets the 
shoulder up after one. It'll take more than that to hold him down. Corey, what are they going to do here? We're about to find out. Double hip toss. These two do it so well together. He wasn't tough enough contending with one opponent. Now you got to deal with two. Oh, man. Setting up. so important in a match like this, to keep fresh. Body on body with force. When you see a unit as aligned as they are, it's really incredible. Oh, across the top rope. Right, Something's about to go either very wrong or very right. Going right after the neck. Neck! A 
attacks from the arsenal of Montez Ford. Yeah, Ivar needs to find an opening fast. And that might start the momentum swing that Montez needed. That might be what gets him out of jeopardy. Yes, tag! the count for his partner. Look at this, just what a barrage of stops. He's taking a moment to feel the crowd, but he better focus on the opposition. Golly, an endless trampling there. Eric is pumped up and letting the crowd know he's here to get it done. in front of us. And how these competitors are still surviving is beyond explanation. Ooh, God. Oh, that got turned around on Dawkins. Start counting, Saxton. One, two, three. We could be here all day. Power. I think you're right. Rotating vertical suplex. Nicely done. There's a tag. seeing right now. No one can. Bad predicament right here. Can't prepare your face for that. up their opponent! Whoa, what a spine buster! is just vicious stop in the arm a lot has been endured by angelo dawkins and he could be done very soon there is no way this can go on for much longer <laughs> simple yet effective way to get out of a predicament to find out. Double hip toss. These two do it so well together. Oh, a drop kick. Super kick. Gosh. 
For it up high, this is going to be good. Take advantage. Oh my God! DDT spiked them. There's not a single person sitting in this arena. It's pandemonium, Cole. In the corner he goes, a perfectly placed target. Rolling thunder frog splash. Offense coming his way. And Ford is bringing the smoke. Oh, a toss. These two do it so well together. Ooh. And Dawkins is able to inflict more damage there. Ivar might need to find space to regroup. And what a maneuver we just saw there. Dawkins feeling himself now. Oh, and a forearm smash. Yikes, that'll be a wake you up or knock you out. He's trying to intimidate his opponent one more time. And that was a first shoulders down. Makes the cover. of showing by this tag team. That was a great example of what a tag team can do when it's firing on all cylinders. Big time trash talking here. The official gonna ring the bell and we're underway. Oh, oh goodness. goodness! The official's been laid out. I mean, it's blatantly obvious. The superstar didn't do it intentionally, but the official's down and now anything truly can happen. Yeah, there's no official out here to keep the order. Can we get some help for our official? The bell rings coming right off the heels of some underhanded tactics. Yeah, guys, there is no way that doesn't play a part in this one. Saxton, in this business, you got to keep your head on a swivel, no matter who you are. That was just a quick reminder. Oh, a nasty stop to finish it off. She saw it coming. Oof. Capitalizes there. That's a no good driver. The Keita Lions feeling herself, trying to get the crowd invested here. Placed in the corner. Ooh, that'll kill you over. This is just establishing dominance, followed by the stomp. So aggressive as the key to Lions, you have to wonder if that's a good strategy with her experience level. Now you're right, she's still rough around the edges. So I think experience could be a factor here for Nikita. Forcing her into unfamiliar territory might be the key to upsetting the rising star. It's tossed. <laughs> I honestly can't believe we just saw a human being tossed like that. And there he's going for the cover. And she gets the shoulders up. She probably didn't expect it to put her away there, but she's put her on notice. Tremendous pressure being applied in this head crank. Oh, man. Looks like her opponent's not going to need a chiropractor. Wriggling the opponent's head like a basketball. Just disrespectful. She wants to finish this. Whoa! Look out! Suicide dive! That is...
is the attitude of a daredevil. The ability to take risk with minimal trepidation. No fear, absolute reckless abandon. And now she delivers her back into the ring. Nikita Lyons feeling herself, trying to get the crowd invested here. And that was an effective attack, guys. Big forearm. Taking the fight near our announce table. I really hope we get these desks at a discount. Oh, what a kick. There's a supreme woman in our midst. Show some respect, WWE Universe. Nikita getting out of harm's way. Neckbreaker. You can almost hear the opponents yelling in agony. This match is spilled out to the ringside area. And as we can see, tension's really running high now. Uh, yeah, we should probably clear the way, guys. Unbelievable athleticism. Well, some might call that showing off, but what a display. What a way to flaunt your abilities. going to take. Sidekick on the mark. Lately, things have been a tad heated between these competitors. Yeah, this could develop into a pretty serious rivalry if it keeps escalating. Maybe they'll squash the beef heat. She's got it. Got her shoulders down. A kick out at two. What does she have to do to put her away? I'm asking myself the same question. No idea. A well-timed maneuver there. She's showing signs of slowing now. This is where endurance becomes so important in the late stages of the match. Climbing to the top rope. From the top rope, missile drop kick on point. Oh no. Oh yes. shape right now, but they have to be feeling good after that win. I'll give them one thing. They definitely know how to take a beating. I wouldn't exactly call the cheap shot they took a beating, but I'll agree that their resilience paid off here. Now, this is a very interesting superstar, Ilya Dragunov, the so-called Mad Russian, who first made his name in NXT UK. Interesting is one word for it. Dragunov's basically a living embodiment of intensity. He subscribes to the philosophy of Unbi Ziegbar, which basically means once he gets going, he considers himself invincible. That philosophy definitely makes him a formidable opponent. The key is, can Dragunov control that intensity and maintain it for the duration of the match? And facing him is Santos Escobar, one of the more controversial superstars today. Escobar is obsessed with the legacy of Lucha Libre, but wants to create one on his own terms. No mask, all results. Escobar's creating a new, modern tradition, one win at a time. As far as he's concerned, he doesn't need to wear a mask to properly honor his ancestors. The Emperor of Lucha Libre playing to his subjects. Textbook head scissor takeover. Very nicely done. Drop kick through the ropes. 
It's like a heat-seeking missile coming at you. And the explosion occurring inside. And for Ilya Dragunov, it is about that philosophy. Umba Zikbar. The notion that he's undefeatable once he reaches a certain point. The question is, how does he get there? Well, it's this simple for Ilya Dragunov. Just keep fighting. Dragunov fights every day to prove his worth. Umba Zikbar isn't just something that sounds scary. It's something he's earned the right to call himself. a true throwback, guys. He reminds me of the great old-school champions who revolutionized the sport in the last century. If by that you mean he'll beat the crap out of you and not bat out of match, then sure. Gunther is a double-tough and absolutely ruthless competitor in the ring. If you don't respect him, you will fear him, and either works for him. Yep, that about sums it up. Yeah, but anyone that's riding off Elias could find himself sorely mistaken. Don't let his melodies be. Elias is a young sinister songsmith who believes himself to be the truth teller. And he's coming in tonight motivated by all the disrespect he's been feeling from the WWE Universe. Everything about Elias is painful, from his music to his attacks in the ring. But don't disrespect the man's capabilities. Elias is fully capable of making sure that his tune will be the last one you'll hear. And we know Elias can play a mean tune, but what does he have to do to take things to the next level tonight? Elias is as powerful as his music is annoying, so he should use the power in his offense to his advantage. Maybe leave the guitar on the outside and play the hits in a more literal sense. There's the clothesline. Elias with the early cover. Wasted no time. One count and he gets his shoulder up. Impressive one count, but still very early. Big oh. And Elias there got some pain directed right to him. Gunther beat the respect into him on that one. Got a great display of strength with the suplex. Lifts the shoulder up. Premature to try to end things now. Gunther looking to attack from above. Look at him. Oh, just completely off target there. Taking a chance and it didn't pay off at all. Both arms trapped and what's next? Headbutt from behind. Squaring off right by our announce table. He 
He's not going to be able to pull this off, is he? Oh, is he? Yeah. Oh, power bomb. A power bomb's not meant to be pretty, but oh man, does it get the job done? Yeah, I'm pretty sure they don't want to be taking any more of those. German suplex spike. The fire's been lit inside of Guther. Yeah, Elias needs to figure things out quick. He may be in a bad way here. Guther with steely resolve to do that kind of damage. Elias moves out of the way. Big boot. He's got him scouted. Elias is pushing back now. He's showing it's not time for lying down. It's time for fighting back. He's going for it all. Blast off! Oh, no, 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 that can change the whole complexion of this match. The body taking some punishment, and Elias is on the downside of things, right? Gunther now from behind, we're naked. Show. I think he's got it locked in good. I just don't know how to counter this thing. I don't want to see him tap out. Not like this. He's risking permanent damage. Oh, he's able to find enough grip to fight out of the hole. Crucial escape here. Powerful contact by Elias. The ring general. Oh, Elias's eyes look glazed over. And Guther takes it. Here is your winner, Guther. Big effort tonight. A well-earned victory here tonight. Well, no one's going to be walking with Elias tonight. I can tell you that much. Here they come. This is going to be an all-out war. These two won't even wait for the opening bell. The official desperately trying to, trying to separate these two, but I'm not sure that's going to be possible. Well, tensions have already boiled over. We haven't even had the bell yet. Trying to catch the superstar off guard, but they were prepared. Yeah, these two did not want to wait for the bell, but the referee finally able to get things under control. There's the bell to this highly anticipated match. So anticipated, these combatants couldn't even wait for the bell. I just cannot believe the referee is actually allowing this match to continue. Here, these superstars are all adults, and the referee isn't there to play counselor. The referee's there to officiate this match. You don't have to like it, but this match is going to happen. Getting the crowd involved. They want to see Primo. Right, Ooh, this is kicking the spine. Oh. Knee strike connects. She's starting to look concerned. She's fighting back. Dolan letting those. Ooh, she'd had enough of that. Using a handful of hair to deliver the snapmare. And this is even worse, my goodness. Rolling neck snap. She thinks she has it. And she's not done yet. Loose cover leads to a strong kick out. Oh, what a snapmare. Oh, perfectly executed. Lots of intensity from Brie Bella being shown right now. Yeah, Brie is working hard to keep up with. 
Brie Bella is obviously quite the accomplished superstar, a Hall of Famer in her own right. She can certainly hold her own in the ring. No doubt about that, Cole. Brie has a resume that shows she's not someone to underestimate. However, she is lacking when it comes to the power and strength department. So when you're standing across the ring from Brie, if you really want to keep Brie mode from happening, you have to outpower her. Jawbreaker! Call the dentist. The Matt Slam with some attitude. That'll teach her to waste precious time in the ring. Into the barricade. <laughs> Toss back into the ring. Dolan finding an opening. Elbow smack! Oh, look at the start of this! Could be going into the playbook for submission! Think about all the pain she's in right now. There's no shame. Almost a miraculous escape and a side slam. Single leg takedown. You could be looking for the single leg Boston Crab. Single leg Boston Crab is in tight. I'm not sure there's anything she can do here. She is trapped and in. Trying to break the submission, and she does. What a drop kick. Heads outside, but this one has to end in the ring. Face first with a waistlock takedown. Great strength being shown here. Oh, no, 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 no. Thrown back in under the ropes. in this one. It took real courage to make it out the other side of that onslaught. I'll say, I almost thought all hope was lost at one point. This is going to be physical. Already a multiple-time NXT champion looking to dominate all of NXT. The following is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from Woodstock, Georgia. Weighing in at 230 pounds. He has been absolutely dominant in NXT. Beat every big name that tried to take his throne. Yeah, I see his WWE career following the same pattern, Michael. You don't need to be a math major to realize that tonight spells disaster for Braun Breaker's opposition. 
or the entire WWE locker room. Intercontinental, the U.S., the WWE, and the Universal titles each on multiple occasions. Truly one of the greats of the era. And the WWE Universe serenading Rollins with his battle hymn. Time for Seth freaking Rollins to conduct another masterpiece. Looking for the all-important victory here. While Seth might be the best-dressed superstar in the WWE. Penny predicament shoulders down. Trying to make short order of things there. Turn things around in a hurry. Oh man, right to the arm. Hyper extend your elbow. Craig, we've seen the immense success Braun Breaker has already achieved. That has to be a tremendous amount of pressure to maintain this sort of trajectory. No way. Barrel roll to pain. That's finding any which way to topple the competition. Hurling your own body like that is insane. Lots of potential for injury here at ringside. These superstars better be careful. The floor, the barricades, our table. None of these things are fun to collide with. Whip back into the ring. Seth Rollins just sitting back and degrading his opponent. Close line. Oh, look at this. So ruthless. Can he do it here? And he easily stops the ref's count. Getting the shoulder up before two tells me the end is not near. Able to interrupt the attack. Breaker making clear he has his number. Time. Look at that. And this emphatically. What a pedigree. Is it enough? I think this match is starting to take its toll. Kick to the gut. Right around into a neck breaker. He's looking a little weary now. Typical crowd the offense from Rollins as this match goes on. I think we know what Rollins is thinking now. We've seen this win matches for Rollins. An absolute statement by the victor here tonight. What a steamrolling.
It is an intimidating situation when you're facing a threat like Kurt Angle. You always got to root for a fellow Yinzer, and there are few who have done Pittsburgh as proud as Kurt Angle. He's the blueprint for American athletics, from Olympic gold to WWE championships. He's not all apple pie all the time, Corey. We've seen that gold medal. He's got him covered. Two. That could have been a surprise early ending. Moved at the wrong right time. He turns it around. Able to capitalize on McIntyre's mistake. In the face. First a knife edge chop and now continuing the attack on the knee. Straight to the knee. The legs are a base that you do not want to lose. Chopping down the tree at the base here. All right, that's it. Handling his opponent is Drew McIntyre. I've seen Saxon thrown out of a few local bars like that before. Oh, please don't remind me, Corey. Kurt Angle might be one of the most skilled Mac technicians in WWE history. How can an opponent even begin to formulate a plan against this wrestling machine? I think you answered your own question there, Cole. Don't grapple with Kurt Angle. You absolutely need to stay out of his grip and avoid takedowns. If you can manage that, Angle's frustration will rise and you may find an opportunity. Battling ringside and our announce table's getting shaky. That's because Byron is quivering in fear next to me. Well, I get nervous when the fight comes out here, guys. Tossing their opponent like they're nothing. We're seeing pure aggression from McIntyre. Good work staying out of Angle's grip. Frustration starting to boil over for Kurt, it seems. Gentlemen, I saw nothing but effective offense. Enough already. Going right after the neck. Neck breaker. Uh-oh, this is not going to end well. Can he score the pin? Uh, maybe. Gets the shoulder up in one. I think this match still has a ways to go. Uh-oh. Oh, God, that, that, that's a bad landing. That was playing with fire and getting burned. The decision to take such a risk at this juncture is questionable. Vicious right forearm. Oh, what a neck breaker. Drew flexing his muscle as he attempts to rally the troops. This match's brutality starting to show on him. Drew making clear he came for a fight, and he's not satisfied yet. Nice takedown. Big risk here. He may be counted out. He might be oblivious to the count, guys. Boom. Head first. Missing on those kind of maneuvers will send you to a medical facility. A medical attention might be needed out here. That was a nasty landing. Put in position now. Has their opponent up and hooked up for a backbreaker. But wait, oh, there's no. more. Second. Oh man, right to the arm. Hyper extend your elbow. Man, that one scouted. Will be landed here. Breaks the count. This is no time to hesitate. You can feel the end coming. Burkina Clutch. Byron's got the sleeper locked in. The sleeper hold is locked in. This could be it. Oh, body is not meant to bend that. Does he have the wherewithal to break the submission? Yes. Yes, he does. Oh, he can end it here. He got him. Yeah, no. He doesn't get the three. How? How? Oh, last goal kick. Here's the cover for the win. An angle just barely manages to escape.
escape a pinfall. Both competitors digging into wells that didn't even know existed.
And now we're all set for this tag match with Charlotte Flair and Aaliyah. Then the opposing team is, of course, filled with Ronda Rousey and Bianca Belair. Off to the side, the team has the advantage. Here. Charlotte into the cover. Lifts up the shoulder. She's really looking for the early victory, but she didn't find it. Ooh, what a forearm. Ball. Oh, a chop. Slam. Oh, a dragon screw ankle breaker. Into the ankle breaker. Clearly had a strategy going on there with the attention on the leg. That'll turn your lights out. Powerful fallaway slam. Rousey's confidence is waning here. Charlotte putting Ronda Rousey in an unfamiliar situation, being dissected. She's enduring some damage. Take off. She comes up empty. Great technique for Rousey. What's going to happen here? Targeting the back. Shoulders down. part of her game plan. Gentlemen, it's time to go to school. Woo! There it is. Like An uncanny showing of power. Ronda Rousey. Normally, she makes people tap. Guys, I cannot figure out how she's going to break this hold. Oh, but she reverses the pressure. Incredible move. herself out of a precarious position. She gets it. Go, right. it. Arms trap. One after the other. A systematic attack on that arm. Oh, what the world? That's not good. This is going to turn into a two-on-one handicap affair, I believe. So now effectively a handicap match. Big form. Got the underhook. Nice standing backbreaker and takedown. Into the corner now. Barrage of strikes by Charlotte in the corner now. All the way up to the top. No. Yes! Second chance worked out for the queen. A kick out before three. Just barely, but it counts. I don't think there's any love lost here. Certainly seems that tension's rising, Michael. I have a feeling we're only seeing the beginning, Byron. Carefully placed stomp to the arm. Thinks. Oh, well, Charlotte Flair steps through. Here we go. Figure eight. To the figure eight. Figure eight. No, 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 no. Oh. Teammate in to save the match. Not over yet. Oh, there's the old. Sure, perfect leg snap from Charlotte. Crushing the hamstring. Makes it incredible. And this has got to be it! Oh! Come on, ref, get some control. Shut up, Byron. Bianca is certainly fighting from behind now. The queen is holding the leverage 
in this match. Face lock applied. Nice suplex. How's he going for it? And there is Piper's pick. Tagged in. Uh oh. Able to escape the double chicken wing with some questionable tactics. She finally put this away. That'll be a win. What a hard fought victory. Here is your winner, Charlotte Flair. Able to shake that disharmony and come out with the victory. That's going to be a great feeling. Well, it also has to be hard knowing that might have been the end of the relationship. We'll have to wait and see on this one, guys. Hopefully this victory will help them bury the hatchet and look towards the future.